Hey there, sports fans. This is Jerry from AndroidCentral.com, and we're going to have a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 Edition. Much like last year, Samsung is releasing their popular Note line of devices in multiple sizes. Uh, we've got the 10.1 inch, they're calling it the 2014 edition here, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot like last year's version, but it's also very much improved. Uh, the construction overall is, is better, it's more well built feeling I guess is is a good way to say it. Uh, it doesn't have the flex and when you go to the back you can't push in and it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. Uh, and yeah I'm not knocking the, the original Note 10.1 but if you have one you know what I mean. It has the same faux leather back that we see in the Note 3. Of course it has the S Pen. Uh, metal or fake metal plastic covered trim around the the edge uh, it makes it feel pretty solid uh, also you've got a micro SD card slot Samsung is known for that there's a speaker in your S Pen uh, down on the bottom you don't have the USB 3 charging port that we see in the Note 10 this is just a standard micro USB uh, there's good and bad there good that it will you know, it follows a standard. We would have liked to have seen USB 3 in the Note 10.1 as well as the Note 3. Uh, over here, there's your other speaker, and there's a spot for your headphones. Up top, you've got an IR blaster, volume, and power. Around the back, you've got a camera, uh, and not a very good camera, and we'll talk more about that later, but it's there if you have to have it. Uh, I wouldn't rely on this as my only camera. Of course, this is the Wi-Fi edition. Uh, no word exactly on any cellular editions coming out, but you know, of course, this is Samsung. Uh, more than likely, we'll see LTE models at the least, uh, and this is the 32 gig version. Like all phones and tablets, you have your different home screens filled with widgets and shortcuts, but Samsung has also included uh, a lot of their own software and features. Uh, we'll start with the multi-window. If you have an S3, an S4, or one of the other uh, Note 2, you're familiar with this. You select an application, it opens. Uh, you can open more than one window at a time. There you go, now I have the file browser and the Samsung web browser open. You can adjust the sizes. Hit the back button and the most recent one will close. Hit the back button again and the first one will close. Any application that supports this is installed in this tray. It's put in this tray when you install it. So that's a good thing. Uh, you've got all the Samsung widgets that you would expect. The different hubs, the app store, uh, content partners, all very tastefully done. Samsung has also added what they call My Magazine. You'll notice a small on-screen home icon. If you shift up from it, uh, you, you get to My Magazine. Very Flipboard-esque styling. Uh, chances are it's built right on Flipboard. You know, I don't know if they want to advertise that or not, but it certainly looks like it. You have different sections. You have news, personal, here and now, social. You can shut one of them off if you like and it's no longer there. Turn that back on. You have categories. In the news, you can pick different categories. I've picked the ones that I'm most interested in. You'll have different tastes, I'm sure. The same with personal. You can set it to block the gallery, or look at the gallery, or your notes, or email. Nobody would want to email there. Chat, video, all sorts of you know different categories there. Here and now, this is local information and things to do. It does request your current location, entering your favorite sports teams. Social, link some accounts. 
you can link different social accounts and they show up here in, in your magazine blocks as you can read Twitter Google LinkedIn Flickr Tumblr 500 pics sign a Weibo Ren Ren and YouTube go back uh, and you flip through them there's the news I tapped an article on accident uh, the screens pretty responsive opened up the article I can tap another article it opens it up in a full page view go past the news there's personal uh, that's I have a call today with the rest of the edi editors there's some scrapbook stuff I've been working with uh, here and now this is what's going on around me pizza oven delicious place to eat uh, social I don't have any accounts linked there's the news and you know that that's uh, my magazine very tasteful very nicely done because we do have the new octa-core exynos with the uh, powerful Mali GPU as you should expect games usually run rather well here uh, a few things aren't optimized and that's to be expected but for the most part uh, the games you will play that were designed for Android will play very well of course the feature and what makes the note devices the note are the S Pen functions uh, as you can see when you pull the pen out you get what we're calling here a little fan menu uh, hover over you can see action memo scrapbooker screen write S finder pen window uh, we'll start and have a look at those pen window I can draw an outline and populate it with an app of my choice click OK let's draw one and it'll pop up let's just stick the calculator in there and there you go I can move that I can resize it uh, you can do any manner of things with it you can also close it the thing is if you fool around with resizing them too much it's very easy to get them squashed and unusable to get the fan menu back just click and it'll come back there screen right let's look at s finder s finder is you search for content on your device you time filter i can type in a certain time past 30 days uh the different types of content communications with other people or images or music so you know it's it's a, a neat way to search your device uh you know not sure how much better it is than standard search of course we haven't had these very long to fill them up with content to give it a try but I've got it for another week or so I'm definitely gonna look at that because Google is a search company but on device and content specific search can always use some extra ideas go back out of there back home open up my air command go to screen right that's pretty self-explanatory it captures an image on the screen and you can write on it you can say hello and this is great for annotating screenshots it comes in very handy something that I actually used uh, when I was using the note we'll cancel that screen will be discarded okay open it up again scrapbooker this is really interesting uh, draw an area with the pen to collect it to a scrapbook okay that's great we will draw an area you can see it highlights what it finds inside the area and it has collected that content for me uh, I can then attach it to a memo I can give tags to it and I can save it to my scrapbook uh, pretty handy you you can you know I've just done icons here but you can also do YouTube videos or pictures or web content uh, very handy this is something that will need a lot of exploration uh, it looks like it's something very powerful we've just dug into it and it's something I'll be exploring more but let's cancel that and discard the changes and one last thing we want to look at here is action memo uh, make a, a memo uh, highlight what you've written and you can attach actions to it say okay let's write uh, Phil Nickinson and we will capture it by drawing a line around it and let's 
make a contact out of that. Uh, it said Nickerson. That's because my handwriting's fairly sloppy, but that's easy enough to fix. So, and of course, it's got Phil in there already because he's already on my contact list. Hi, Phil. But that's an example of what Action Memo can do. You can do the same thing with phone numbers. You can do, uh, you know, images. Any anything you can attach an action to. Let's say you want to snap a picture and attach a web address to it. That works well. So the pen functions are improved overall. They are a lot more powerful, need a lot more exploration, and we'll be sure to do that.